What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Brothers, I, I gotta say this. I really like uh, Brother Corey Holcomb. <laughs> brother brother Corey Holcomb is a, a chip off the old block. You know, them, them Chicago roasters, brother. Uh, you know, like Simple to P, um, Corey Holcomb, you know, th those, 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 those brothers over there, they got a lot of heat. All right. And, um, and brother Corey Holcomb is still calling it like he seen it. I mean, he, the way he be dragging people, he don't care. He drag men, he drag women. I mean, the brother, does he, he anybody, he gonna give him that work. Right. And he had something to say about young Miami recently. Some of you brothers showed it to me. Now, obviously, you know, Corey, um, curses a lot. Right. But I think like it's a lesson to a lot of black men who get successful and end up dealing with people that they don't need to be dealing with and how brothers categorize certain situationships that they deal with. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to play this particular clip uh, and then I'm going to come back. But speaking of this interesting thing that kind of took off, I was going to get you guys' uh, take on this. Um, young Miami, she is a label mate of takeoffs. And when she went to the um, services, uh, immediately went viral because of her outfit. And afterwards, she took some selfies against a car and she posted, I haven't been feeling well, but I came out for takeoff and his family. I love my QC family with two pictures of her posing near some cars. Who is that? That's Young Miami. So right now people are, a lot of people are with, with upset because they said it's very distasteful. Some people are saying, you know, you're not the, we know you're not the brightest, but posting a funeral fit for likes doesn't get more tackier than this. Uh, others are feeling that, um, look at all these celebrities using takeoffs funerals, a photo op. Anyway, uh, so Young Miami was quick to fire back saying, what I choose to do after the funeral has nothing to do with anything and that and that when my baby's father died, I did the same actually. I was shaking my car. What I wear and me taking pics has nothing to do with me coming to support and be there for someone when it's needed. Next. So now people are going, okay, you're not getting there. Anyway, everybody's giving their, their opinion on they feel that it was not in good taste or what have you, that she- That's one P did, eh? Yeah. But I'm saying, like, I, I, I let you finish, but I'm saying, no, no, like, I'm done. when you look at that girl right there, I just don't understand what could you possibly want from her but to f I, I, I can't even imagine. What would you do with a f fake, makeup, glasses, dress like a f What could you do but f her? If you try to be with a woman like that, what the f is wrong with you? This is why we need hard working men in the house. That's, that's, mm. that's, especially P. Diddy. If you got a man who worked yeah, for he's his. Not he's not only with her, he's with a lot of other people. Who told you that? What do you mean who told him? He says, what are you talking about? He's, he's not exclusively with her. He's P. With, Diddy, hold on. He's P. With Diddy. Sense girl too. P. Oh, Diddy yeah. got money. X, X girl. Yeah. Are, are we are we in any? Are, do we agree on that? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. P uh -huh. Diddy got money. Like that is what come with money. She not for keeping. She's for and you don't grab a. He go another. Bust down. Bust down. Let, let us see the monkey. Where the monkey at? And you see how she It ain't got that part on it. You see how she allows him to treat her. I like think I saw her talk one day too. She's got a she's got a pot. He paid for it. He get Yeah. She's got a show. When I saw her talk, I was rolling. I was like, oh, this is a pity. All right, guys, so you heard what what he had to say, okay? Now let me let me let me just say this. Um the language is uh it's colorful, okay? And again, you know, like I said, my mom watches my channels, right? So uh, I'm not as colorful as I would like to be about certain things because my mama watch all my videos and then my grandma be watching my videos. So I have to keep it clean. I, I can't even really curse anymore. 
But but I want to talk about this because you know uh, uh, P Diddy in, in, in his case he's an entertainer. Young Miami is an entertainment. So you know there's a somewhat of a benefit if he wants to deal with her. The reason being is because she's hot, and P Diddy likes to keep his name uh, flowing around, right? But now for us as as men, here's what I want to discuss because. Many of us, and I know this is an issue because once brothers start getting money, especially if you're new to money, shout out to brother Antoine Wade because he, he called me the other day. We talked about some of the content and some of you brothers out there want to have money. You want to get into, you know, the upper middle class, upper class, but a lot of black men don't understand the responsibility that you have to your economic class. All right. And this is important, especially for a lot of brothers who are going to get there. I don't care what, what age you are. But once you reach there, you've worked hard all your life to achieve this. You've put in hours. Remember, you're dealing with people who would not have dealt with you, who would not deal with you if you were not being there. So you need to understand that. OK, if you're not there, they won't deal with you. So then what happens is that you have these people who can't contribute to your life, at least in PDD's case she's somebody entertainment but a lot of brothers will deal with a woman like that who don't have nothing she just looks good then what happens fundamentally what happens i'll tell you what happens this individual causes a lot of fundamental problems number one they they don't understand class they don't understand how to deal with somebody that has something and this is what black men get it wrong, okay? So then what you start to do is to trade your resources for the fact that she got a nice booty. You taking her nice places, okay? And you elevating her in a place that she shouldn't be. A lot of brothers is giving attention and giving resources to a woman who should never be there in the first place. I made this mistake a lot of times. And then what are you gonna get? At the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you where you're gonna get. You're gonna get disappointed. You're gonna be disappointed. Because I'm telling you, you're going to have a lot of time. You, it's going to be fun. You're going to be kicking it with her and all the shit. It's going to be great. But then what you're going to find out is that she don't appreciate anything you do. She does for you because she's not built like that. OK, because she's not that caliber of person. The, per, the where you're going, you can't deal with somebody like that, although you're going to try. And every time you're going to be disappointed, every time you're going to be disappointed, Every time you're going to be disappointed, every time you're going to be pissed and then back to disappointment. Why? She should not be there. Get rid of her. OK, and I'm going to just say this a lot of times as brothers and it's hard. You just there while I'm just sleeping with her. I get that. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but that's how you end up getting, you know, these babies that you don't need because she shouldn't be there in the first place. All right. If you want a woman that is going to appreciate you, the woman got to be able to offer you something and they got to be able to offer you something outside of booty. At least P Diddy dealing with young Miami, Miami, she can offer him something clout, something like that. But a lot of times, you know, you're dealing with women that just take from you. They take your money. They taking your energy when they having a bad day. They call you. That's one thing I hate, man. I hate when somebody's having a bad day, all of a sudden now you're just calling me to put me in a bad situation as if I don't have things to do. Yeah, you're adding problems onto your plate when they could be going to ruin somebody else's life and leave you alone. You don't have time for that on your way to where you wanna be. The last thing you need is somebody who's emotionally draining and somebody who don't need to be there. Why are they there? And then you're trying to put somebody in the place that they don't need to be. Some brothers is wifing up chicks that ain't wifey material. And then once you break up with her and you find out who she dealing with next, the next guy is terrible because that's where she needs to be. Some of these ladies, y'all, y'all are trying to put them in a position that they don't need to be at. You, 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 you're spending, you're spending, investing in something that can't be invested in. Brothers don't want to get it. And then when you learn it, then you start getting upset. Stop being so mad understand that she don't need to be there and then once you understand that everything is better once you stand to understand your worth you protect it by any means necessary but guys what do you think 
it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out. Thank you.